Hey guys, I was at a party this weekend and I mentioned I am a real estate investor. You know, somebody just comes up to you and goes, what do you guys do for a living? And I go, I buy real estate and I run a property management company. And they go, oh my God, I've always wanted to invest in real estate. What's the secret? Like, how do I get started? And I get asked this question at least three times a week. And everybody seems to think there's some secret answer to this. So today I wanna share with you the laziest way to invest in real estate. Welcome to Chai and Cabins, where we talk all things entrepreneurship, short-term rentals, real estate, and business. My name is Rashmi, like don't rush me, and it's my pleasure to welcome you onto this podcast. If you do this hack, you can keep your job. You don't have to change your lifestyle. You don't have to do anything out of the ordinary that you wouldn't would necessarily have to do. You don't have to learn a new skill. It is really a basic foolproof way of getting started in real estate and seeing if you like it. And if you don't, that is totally okay. And maybe realize you invest in a different asset class. Maybe you realize syndications are more for you. I really like this method of real estate investing specifically because not only does it teach you how to become a landlord, which obviously helps. But the second thing is it helps bring down your cost of living. And here's the thing, this process that I'm going to talk to you, there's nothing new about it. Everyone's talked about it before. It's nothing sexy. But what I'm going to do today is take a deal that I've seen. I was just literally driving around in my market the other day and looking at properties and I came across this deal and I thought it'd be a really cool deal to share with you and show you how I analyze my deals when I'm looking for what I call long-term rental properties. Now, I will be honest, I don't buy any long-term rentals. It's not part of my portfolio strategy at this time. I think the only reason for that is cap rates are so low right now and interest rates are high. Like there's just not enough margin on the deals. But you don't need to know any of that when you are looking at this deal. This is my first real estate deal and this is how I got started in real estate investing. And I still think it is the number one way to get started in real estate. So if you guys are ready, let's dive right in. But before before I do, if you guys are enjoying this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like and leave me a little comment about what you like and what other topics you guys want me to cover. I'll be more than happy to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start screen sharing here and I'll start walking you guys through what I'm looking at. All right, guys, so I have this deal over here and I'm going to walk you through kind of how I calculated. Now, it takes me about less than 20 seconds every time I'm looking at a real estate deal to start running through the numbers and I can figure out if it's going to work for me or not. I've gotten really good at it. I'm going to walk you through the process I do to make sure this works. So how I came about this deal is I was driving around in San Antonio today and I was looking at actually a different asset class. And because every time I look at different asset class, I always like to see what are the residential real estate prices in this area? What are things selling for? What are they doing? And I just happened to fall across this duplex. And it's interesting because I've looked at a duplex strategy before and it hasn't cash flowed the way I would like. I was like, interesting. And this seems to be the only one on the market for sale. I could be wrong. And before I say anything else, I do want to say I'm not affiliated with this listing in any way. I never met them. I literally just analyzed it on my phone and I thought the numbers looked good. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So looking at this listing, it looks like it's a duplex that you can buy. And I know because I drove by here, there were three of them. So this is number one, number two, and number three. And I forget which one is exactly for sale. I'm guessing this one sits in the photo, but I'm not sure. Um, So it says it's a multifamily. It's a brand new and it's a six, six, but what it ideally is is a three bedroom, three bathroom. Um, it's a brand new construction. For your first project, I highly, highly, highly recommend you buy a brand new build. The reason for this is there tends to be less wear and tear on the property. You don't have to worry about replacing the HVAC, things usually aren't leaking, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I really like this kind of property. That's brand new. Okay. So obviously a duplex is one of my favorite strategies to really do this in because what the goal is, is what we call house hacking which is you live in one side and you rent out the other side. And what this does is it helps bring down your living expenses. So on this property, it looks like it's brand new. I think there's still a little bit of construction left. Maybe they just never updated the photos. I'm not sure. The price per square foot, I always like to look at it. It's not a metric I typically go by when I buy real estate, but it's always, always nice to have. So it's built new. There's two ACs. Awesome. So the first line I see is going, hey, they're offering a 3.75 interest rate if you go with their preferred lender. All right, now these numbers look really good. And it says it's brand new, three 2.5 baths, or maybe not six bathroom, maybe kind of four and then one on each side. So it says it's getting, can be completed at the end of August, so it's probably just now. And then the seller's information is right over here. Usually I could do the interest rates in my head, but they've been varying so much recently that it's been hard to, to put this together. So I just like to literally go to Google and just put in like a mortgage calculator. And I like to do a loan amount. So 
This property is 485, which means my loan amount is going to be in the 400 range if I did 20% down. So 485 times 400. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. 97 grand. Okay, so right at, at 400. So I'm just going to put in 400 here. I like 400 because you'll have a little bit of closing costs in this. So typically at current interest rate, which is at this, this is what your monthly mortgage payment is going to look like. Now, this is pretty high, but it's actually still doable. So I'm walking you through a scenario where this is still a decent way to buy this property. And then we'll do a 3.5%. So the other thing I like to do next is go to Zillow.com. And then I like to hit up uh, San Antonio. And actually, let me just duplicate this listing. It actually makes this a lot easier. So I'm just gonna go to copy this listing over here. And I'm gonna close this and we'll look at this area. Like this is kind of where there are. The other house in there are all right. And all I have to do is literally just move to for rent and apply. And I like to see like what are units typically going for in the area. And then since I know this is a duplex, I like to take out apartments in here. And I like to see that, all right, things. And I typically, instead of newest, we'll just go to payment low to high. And then I usually kind of just go around and find typical units in the area. So they're kind of in the 115, 100 range, right? Um, I think there's room to maybe go up slightly higher. I'm just looking at like what's 1.7. So it's like 4.2. That's 1,400 square feet. Um, and remember, you are, will be competing with like a brand new unit um, that no one's ever seen in. So you can charge a little bit of a premium for that as well. So I just kind of like to look around, see what other people are offering. Like this is, seems like a pretty sitcom, nice house. This um, 1,500, 3, 2, 1,380. It's available now. They don't accept pets. I am a proponent of accepting pets just to get my places booked up. So, all right, cool. Um, and they have a little bit of a deck, but again, not a brand new house. All right, so at least now we'll go with sort of 1500 on here. Now, if we were getting this interest rate at 2936, you already know you could rent out that size for 1500 a month. So 2934 minus 1500, is it your living expenses are going to be about 1434 if you were to go with that interest rate this is already a good deal because as you can see you literally cannot find anything on the market that is a 3-3 that's brand new build and your living expenses is going to be this now as with all real estate there's going to be costs that come above this number which are costs such as vacancies or primary maintenance if you're paying a property management company to hire damages once a tenant kind of rolls over all that kind of stuff you got to do a background check and so there is a bunch of costs associated with this it's not a foolproof method but again you have a pretty good benchmark to at least sit down and do a deep dive on the deal I do recommend you have an excel sheet and i'm happy to share mine that goes through how i analyze my specific numbers for my deals but this is just super quick back of the napkin math for me to see does this deal even work like if i tried now if i had this deal and i go listen like i don't live inside San Antonio, i don't want to live in the other half of the duplex i still know i could rent it up to 1500 on each side and i'm right at break even i'm not making any profit on this and now remember guys we are running this at the eight percent interest rate okay and so i'm going that's not a bad deal i always like to cash flow on day one so it wouldn't meet my personal criteria for buying at the specific price but remember you can always negotiate on the price and we know that this seller is actually offering 3.75 on the interest rate so on my scenario number two i am going to run this on a 3.75 percent okay now my monthly mortgage payment is down to 1850 it's around over a thousand dollar difference that's how crazy this is okay so at 1852 i already know i can get this one side rented at 1500 okay so i have 1852 so my living expense like what i would have to pay the mortgage company every month is going to be 352 dollars now this doesn't include property tax this doesn't include your insurance so you do have a little bit of extra money you do have to but on a quick first glance i'm like Dang, these numbers don't sound bad at all. Like, there's definitely room to make a little extra cash on this deal. Now, you could go in and offer at probably a little bit of a lower price. I always like to negotiate and see where they end up. So I would maybe offer uh, in the 460 range and just see if they'll, yeah, they'll take it. Or I'll look at maybe 
475. Uh, and again, just play around with my numbers and see where I go. But this is how you analyze in a really, really quick way. Like, is this property even worth taking a look at? And so when you're literally on Zillow and you're scrolling through all of these listings, this is literally my back of the napkin map on like, does this work? Does this work? I hope this information is useful for you guys. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to leave me a comment below and then get ready to watch my next video while I'll go through some of the financing options.